I'm concerned about our mental and physical health. What are we doing about it? And how are we getting real and right about who we are? Do we even know the essence of who we are? Traditional wellness practices teaches us how to ebb and flow with life circumstances and how to bend in the wind. My exploration as an entrepreneur, community builder, traveler, and lifelong student has helped me cultivate my skills as a Chinese medicine practitioner. Last year, I went on a journey to deepen my yoga practice in the deep jungles of Colombia. I traveled Alaska, the Caribbean, and so many other places. And today, I want to share with you that experience. Traveling the world is an experience of a lifetime, but there are some things that you want to um, know before you go. Early last year, I packed my bags and left the Regal Princess to set off to live in an ashram in Colombia for three months. So here we are in the city of San Rafael. It's um, a pretty old town. There's absolutely nothing up here. Um, I'm waiting for my driver who has prearranged to pick me up in a moto. So we're going to Vanadurga in a moto. It's um, another maybe like 20 minutes away from San Rafael. And it's gonna be a bumpy ride. I hope I get a little moto coche, which is like one of those little motos that looks like a car but it's a moto. But it looks like I might just be on a moto. So I'm a little worried because I have a suitcase and a backpack and that's only because I did so much shopping in Medellin and this was totally a last minute decision. So let's see what happens. My trip to Colombia was an incredible experience. So Colombia was in probably the best place for an American to travel on their own. Check with your local embassy and find out what those um, dangers are, if there are any, are any terrorist attacks or if there are any threats in that country. I just arrived and we have sat song and meditation in five minutes but this is my room and I'm gonna be sharing with a room with another yogi there's 13 yogis of us here and I'm just so relieved to be here so I'm gonna rush off to sat song and I'll catch up with you later Another thing too is when traveling to certain countries you do want to make sure that you are um, your, your location is safe and that you're traveling with someone who knows the area. Maybe even meeting somebody there and having a point of contact in the country that you're going to be visiting. I wasn't aware of how many um, types of poisonous animals existed in the jungle. Like One experience that I remember is uh, coming across a massive like tarantula this big. I don't even think you can call it a tarantula. It was like a dinosaur of a spider. And it looked like something out of the movie Jurassic Park. And while we were laying in Savasana after a yoga class, this tarantula starts crawling on the deck all the way around to the back of the deck and down beneath the deck. And I just thought, what if I was sleeping and that thing came into my room? I would be a goner. I would be a goner. So those are things that you definitely want to like uh, be wary of because they exist. We're talking like real live animals that really exist. You see them in movies and they exist in real life. They really, really exist. And so we have to be careful and, and know that these things are in the jungle and we have to respect the wildlife and not be afraid of it, but just know that they exist. Another thing about traveling to Colombia is all, it's always good to know the language. Knowing Spanish, knowing how to ask for a taxi or how to you know, get around town is pretty important. Not very many people speak English and um, Colombians do have a different accent to people who speak Spanish from Spain or Spanish from Mexico. And so you wanna be very familiar with the culture and of course the geography. During the pandemic, I had a really difficult time getting home from um, Colombia back to the United States. And I had to hire a taxi from Bogota to come and pick me up three hours outside of Medellin to bring me to the um, evacuation flight that was leaving out of Bogota, you know, a few days later. And one of the biggest challenges was communicating with the company that was going to take me from Bogota or from San Luis Miguel to Bogota. And I needed a translator. Of course, I could speak Spanish, but it's nicer when you have somebody who is from the place who who can um, 
speak the lingo and can help you navigate. And so that was a challenge for me. I eventually got to Bogota and got a taxi and got a driver to take me from the hotel to the airport and saw some pretty interesting places in Bogota that look very similar to a lot of what we see in, um, in movies. So also know that you know you have to be very careful with your surroundings and carry your personal items, your passport, your money in a safe place. Like whether it's in your shirt or your jacket or um, close to your body whenever you're traveling. I have two passions, it's traveling and holistic medicine. And if you love to travel and you wanna keep it healthy and you wanna see the world and you wanna live like from your true essence, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe for fresh new content every week. I can't wait to share with you the rest of my journey, what life is like on this side of the world, and to just like inspire you and to encourage you to try something different because ultimately, our health is our responsibility and we want to get the most out of our health so we can live our true passion, which is traveling and doing the things that we love to do, right? And you also want to see some of the coolest parts of the world because quite frankly, we only live once. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.